What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction. Today, we have why nobody is ever allowed to move this ladder. Yeah, let's just straight into this one, man. But let's just cut right to the chase. There's this ladder in Jerusalem, and no matter what, you'll never be allowed to move it, and nobody else the probably fuck? will either. I mean, you could move it. Nothing physically is preventing you from doing it the next time you're in Jerusalem. Is it like God? Legally, you can't, and if you did, you might start a riot or a war. Why is that the case? <laughs> because of history, human nature, and religion. You see, the ladder rests on a ledge just under this window above the entrance to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in the old city of Jerusalem. Wait, but if it's not like, you know, nailed on or glued or anything, you know what I mean? Like, or cemented, can't like wind blow it off? Or <laughs> what if it just get? what if it gets a bit windy? What you gonna start right with the, the wind? The church building itself is ancient, dating back to the fourth century AD, oh, and it claims beautiful. to house the two holiest sites in Christianity, both the location of Jesus' crucifixion and the tomb where he is said to have been buried and resurrected. Oh, because damn. of these claims, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre is revered by numerous Christian denominations that have all placed a claim to property ownership of the building. Control of the church today is shared by six of these denominations in a fiendishly complicated and confusing agreement that's been in place now for at least 160 years. They include the Greek Orthodox, Armenian Apostolic, Roman Catholic, Coptic Orthodox, Syriac Orthodox, and Ethiopian Orthodox churches, and their agreement to share the church goes back to 1757. Back then, Jerusalem was controlled That is actually a really cool looking church, isn't it? The and the Sultan at the time issued a decree that permanently preserved the ownership of the city's holy sites to their then current owners. Since the Holy Sepulchre was owned by many groups, Oops. An understanding was established between them that absolutely nothing in the church could be changed from the way it was when the agreement was signed without oh, the approval shit. of all six religious orders. This agreement is largely still in force today and has led to things like everybody neglecting badly needed repairs or renovations to the church building because the six orders can't agree on what the outcome would look like, but it's also led to things like the- Wait, so like, let's, let's say for example, right? The wall fell down, right? Y they're not going to do anything? Ladder, which was already there on that ledge when the agreement was made, and nobody can move <laughs> anything without everybody's <laughs> approval the first. The agreement is taken so literally by the owners of the church that moving a piece of furniture like the ladder can spark a fight between them. Wow, that's actually really cool. That's really cool and just interesting, to be honest. <laughs> that, like, what if, I, what if I left a wallet there? Or, like, well, back, back then they probably didn't even have wallets, but, like, what if I left something i i own there well i'm not allowed to take it because they agreed that nothing's allowed to be like me like it did just in 2002 a coptic monk was sitting on a chair on the roof of the building protesting the ethiopian monks taking over the rooftop monastery the coptic monk moved the chair he was sitting in just slightly to be more in the shade but since the chair was considered to be jointly owned by all six religious orders and since he had moved it without approval from the other five it was quickly considered a violation of that 1757 agreement and started fuck? an all-out fist fight between them where a dozen monks became Came injured. A similar violent event happened again in 2008 when what the Armenian the monks fuck? were holding a ceremony and wouldn't allow a Greek monk to participate with them. The Greeks protested by blocking the ceremony, which sparked this huge fight that you're now seeing on screen. The Israeli riot police had to be called inside the oh, church to shit. break up the fight, and two monks got themselves arrested. There's plenty of other times that violence has erupted over seemingly minor disagreements here, which is part of why nobody is allowed to move the ladder. Nobody really even knows how exactly the ladder got there or when, but most people assume that a mason was doing repairs around 300 years ago and, you know, just kind of left it there. The ladder is shown in an engraving of the church back from 1728. It was mentioned in the Ottoman Sultan's Edict in 1757, and it's present in this photograph from sometime in the 1850s. It's so actually it's pretty cool. A while, but the problem is that nobody knows to which of the six Christian denominations who share the church that person who left it there belonged to. Because it could have been any denomination nomination, the latter is considered by many to be owned by all six, and therefore Fair requires enough. the approval of all six to be moved, which won't be happening anytime soon. Pope Paul VI in 1964 issued a pontifical order that the latter was to permanently remain in place at the church. Yeah, to be honest, like, there's no point moving it now because it's a part of history and it's got such a cool, like, you know, interesting story behind it now. Until the Catholic and Orthodox churches reached a state of unity. That means that for now, the Catholics won't ever agree to moving it, which means 
means that nobody can legally move it for just that reason. The ladder has become a symbol to many of the divisions inside the Christian religion, and despite being referred to as the immovable ladder, it has actually been moved a couple of times. In what? 1981, a prankster tried to move it but was quickly stopped by the Israeli police, and in 1997, this guy just flat out stole the thing through the window and disappeared with it for a few weeks. The ladder's movement sparked tensions between the religious communities <laughs> inside, as would be expected, and apparently the prankster felt pretty bad about it and returned it back to its original place. The last <laughs> time the ladder was moved was in 2009, and it was just a- Bro, what is it? <laughs> Hey, this guy just needed a ladder, bro. He, he, there was no shops open at the time. Temporary move to clean up the area around it. Like I said in the beginning, nothing is physically preventing you from moving the ladder the next time you're there, but you probably shouldn't unless you want to risk starting an incident or having a meeting with the police. What you should go do instead right now is head over to Skillshare and- But really good video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that too. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.